Welcome to 604 South Clifton Street and Isaiah Zagar's mural, Bilal from Pakistan. The central figure in this mural is Bilal Khan, an artist from Pakistan who apprenticed with Isaiah in 2012 and worked on this mural with him. In 2011, Bilal got in touch with Isaiah through Philadelphia's Magic Gardens about coming to work with him in Philadelphia. Bilal explains their first conversation. I dialed Isaiah's number, he picked up, I said, hello, my name is Bilal, and I am an artist from Pakistan, and I would love to come and work with you. He replied, yes, in an instant, and that I can come and work with him. I was not expecting it to be that simple. I mean, it could be just anyone calling him. It took months for Bilal to obtain his visa and make arrangements to travel to the United States. In the fall of 2012, he arrived in New York to stay with friends. He hadn't spoken to Isaiah since that first conversation one year earlier. When Bilal reached out to say he had finally arrived, Isaiah invited him to live in the Zagar's home during his two-month stay and put him right to work. The first project he worked on was this mural, which was completed through one of Isaiah's mosaic mural workshops. From 1997 to 2017, Isaiah taught weekend workshops to paying participants interested in learning his technique. Many of the Zagar murals throughout the South Street area were created through this collaborative process. Isaiah begins working on a new mural by first bolting large sculptural pieces he makes, called blobs, to the wall. Blobs in this mural include traditional Zagar materials, like handmade tiles and glass bottles, as well as more unique objects, like a horseshoe crab shell and a mosaic piece by artist Trish Metzner. Isaiah then paints simple line drawings directly on the brick to guide the design. This design first included a snarling dog with sharp teeth, before Isaiah changed it to a nicer looking dog at the request of the wall's owner. During the workshop at 604 South Clifton Street, Bilal and 12 other participants learned how to cut mirror and break tile, adhere tile and mirror to the wall, and mix cement and grout the mural over the course of a weekend. As the mural neared completion on Sunday, October 28, 2012, the group worked under tarps and then covered the work to brace for the impact of Hurricane Sandy. Philadelphia faced torrential downpours and winds gusting to more than 85 miles per hour the next day. The storm caused more than 1 million people to lose their power in Pennsylvania and billions of dollars of damage in South Jersey. But by the time the storm moved away on Tuesday, the mural was still standing. Bilal remained in Philadelphia for another two months, working with Isaiah on other projects and at his Watkins Street warehouse. He reflects on his time with Isaiah and his wife, Julia. Isaiah and Julia's company was more like family. I became a part of their lives during that time. I would enjoy their friends' company on Wednesdays. I went to so many different art events, galleries, and exhibitions with them, and met so many amazing and friendly people. I have such fond memories of the Thanksgiving day which we all spent at Isaiah's sister's cottage. Bilal Khan now lives in Toronto, Canada, where he is a visual arts high school teacher. Our thanks to him for sharing his story.